Hi! Welcome, Welcome to, to another, another episode, episode of Birdwatching by O'Flamingo. So, Howard, it's been a long time since we've done this, no? It's been. More I can't than tell I anymore. Yet. It's been. <laughs> How are you? I, I'm I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Ako rin, actually, Howard, and dami ko nang pinagdaanan this past year. Like, and dami na talaga. Anyway, yeah. uh, yung gaga. I'm okay also. Uh, uh, so, okay. yeah. Um, <laughs> Due to in- insistent public demand, kailangan namin ituro yung nasabi namin more important guitar part. Nang um, anong month ngayon? June. 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 Pero Howard, parang may kulang eh. Paano tayo magtuturo ng guitar lessons kung wala tayong guitar? Hindi natin magagawa yun. Kaya kailangan na natin tumawag sa guitar gods para bigyan tayo ng guitar. Whoa! Howard, what kind of guitar is that? This is a five-string Paylor, if you can see. The signature <laughs> na alikabok is right there. This is the perfect guitar for this riff. Oh. Because we're not gonna use much strings. Thanks for asking, no? My guitar is actually the family emblem of Tears of Cruz III. And then behind it, it's a bottle opener to open bottles. Like... <laughs> like this. Peanut bottle. <laughs> Papa, please demonstrate your bottle opener. So it's right like this. This is a bottle opener and this, this is what you call a peanut bottle. Then you just touch it and then you open it. Oh, it wow, it's... The, the opening is very smooth. Now, the first step to playing guitar is making sure that your guitars are in tune. And as we've mentioned before, we should do the X tuning. So let's just try it. Is that, is that correct? So for bass, it's the same. Okay, what's next? Sorry, I don't have the strings. I'm just... Bass. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's cut to the chase and start the lesson. We taught you the the descending riff. Yes. Can we review it? Don't forget the alternate note. Now for the next part. We'll be teaching you the guitar riff breakdown. This one in particular is the one after the second chorus. Yes. It's actually the most popular part of our song. Everybody sings it in all of our gigs. All. All. Including the waiter. Yes. Yes. So how do we play it? What we do is we harmonize our guitars. So let's demonstrate it. No wonder it's so popular. Was majestic. Especially with the bass part. The bit. Oh, yeah. So, Howard, how about you show the rest of the world how to do it? Alright. I think you should show it first because. No, I, I think it. you should show it. You should, you show, show, it. It. You should you show, show it. I'll show it. it. I'll show it. Okay. 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 So, the riff is it's in the E note. Uh, e, F, you do the math. Yeah. As long as it's a straight ascending melody. How about yours? What do you do? So, my part starts with the ultimate part. It's what you call the C. Then you just ascend five notes. So after C, it's D, and then E, then F, and then G, and then you just rinse and repeat. So that's the rinse. Then you repeat it. Where did 
did you learn the rings? Oh, it's from uh, laundry mat. The last part, it's a very special variation because it takes uh, inspiration from Do Re Mi by Regine Velasquez, Mikey Kawanko, and Juana <laughs> Cruz. So it's a uh, Do Re Mi, Fa Sol, and then it goes back again to. Yeah, the last part is a uh, Do and then Mi. Because in the movie, it was Donna Cruz and then Mikey Kawanko who became best friends. So, we have to be together. Yes. Uh, well, the, the riff that I'm doing is in harmony with Papus. So, mine is in the third interval. Let's play it. So, yes. the number three is a very important number in O Flamingo ideology. Yeah, that's because, why we have a third guitar. Because the members are the drummer and the two guitarists. Those are the instruments. So right? it's Howard, Fries, Papu. And okay. Alright, Howard. Actually, a lot of people have been asking, saan ba natin nahanap yung inspiration for that very unique and never heard before progression of notes. Mm. Ba? Parang hindi ko kasi, hindi kasi yun naririnig normally ng oh. mga tao. So, Masyado siyang complicated. Mm -hmm. Gusto nila malaman, paano natin nakuha yung ganong inspiration? Kasi, ina-idolize tayo ng buong oh. mundo. Sabihin naman natin. Um, kasi, kasi and, baka mawalan tayo ng followers. Surprise, sabihin naman natin totoo. Okay. Sige, sige, sige. Okay. Nung sinusulat namin yung kanta, meron talaga kaming central figure sa utak namin. Uh, first of all, lahat kami taga QC. Yes. So, naisip namin, what if magbigay tayo ng pugay sa isang government official na... Nakikita natin yung mukha niya everywhere. Everywhere. Sa mga tarpaulin, tuwing merong bangkay sa kalsada na nakadisplay tas nagpapasugal, yung bubong nila, Nandun yung pangalan niya. So, naisip namin, ah, siguro, importante talaga siyang tao sa ating lipunan. Kaya yung naging inspiration ng nota na yun ay walang iba kung hindi si Joy Belmonte of Quezon City. Now, Miss Joy Belmonte, kasi ganito ang naisip namin gawin. Kung naaalala mo, meron sikat na composer na ang pangalan ay Ludwig van Beethoven. Tapos si Beethoven, nagsulat siya ng Ode to Joy. So, ito yung aming Ode to Joy. Ode to you. Joy Belmont. Ah, we have to position. Ah, kailangan pala classical. So, Kasi kailangan pag classical, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, maliit yung mga paan ng mga tao dati. So, kailangan nila na foot first. Very emily. Actually, yung hindi kasi. Wala pang polio vaccine noon. So, hindi talaga pantay yung legs nila. Kailangan nila nakaangat yung isang <laughs> Lumiliit yung isa. Buti na lang nasa 2016 na tayo. Oh, Pero so, siguro tradition eh. Tribute. So, kailangan oh, natin yun. Pagbibigay po guys. Tulad ng pagbibigay po guys natin. Sa mga hindi nakapa-afford ng for Joy Belmonte. Okay, so let's try it. One, two, three, and... So, kitang-kita naman natin, Howard, yung parallelism between Ode to Joy Belmonte and June, di ba? Kasi parang essentially, ninakaw lang talaga natin yung riff na yun. Pero okay lang talaga magnakaw. Basta yeah. huwag kayo magpahuli. Tama. The change is coming. Bago matapos yung video, what if balikan natin kung ano yung tinuro natin sa ating mga audience? Ang kailangan tandaan ay dapat umiikot yung ulo natin. Uh, that's correct. Mindset. Oh, kasi like parang anti-poverty, um, pro-poor, world peace. World peace yun. So, dapat yun yung mga tumatakbo sa isip natin. So, anong, anong social issue yung iniisip mo ngayon tungkol sa pro-poor? 
Lack of education. Tama. Okay, so let's try it. One, two, three, and. Every time tinututug yung riff na yun, may limang estudyante na nababayaran yung tuition. Kasi June. Kasi June na yun. Na. Sama. Okay. Um, Billy, mayroon ka bang gusto nang sabihin tungkol sa... Um, basically, ano... Uh, yun. Kailangan lang... Uh, lang so, that's all the time we have here at... Bird Watching! Kita kits mga ka-birds sa susunod na episode ng... Bird Watching! <laughs> Sapagkat ang episode na to ay pinamagatang Bird Watching! Dahil tayo ay nag Bird Watching! Kita kids! Sa susunod na Bird Watching! Hanggang sa muli! Paalam! <laughs>